There are multiple ways to win a battle, either through superior firepower, covert strikes, or flanking your opponent. Sometimes though, you just gotta go fast. This time, we're covering the Car SMG. The Car or Combat Advanced Round SMG is a modern weapon designed for roles which demand a compact, lightweight weapon without compromising on lethality. It's an attractive package, its diminutive size stylishly adorned with orange highlights, but it's what's within that counts. It is derived from the familiar R101 platform, but with extensive modifications to the internals to support its advanced high-velocity armor-piercing round. The 6.19mm advanced round is designed to pack as large a punch into as small a package as possible, retaining the weapon's compact profile while still delivering rifle-grade performance. Compared to the R97, the car's damage is good. You'll kill with one fewer shot at all ranges. Up close, you'll need four shots to kill, although a single headshot will reduce this to just three. At a distance, performance is less impressive, with up to six shots needed to tackle an uninjured foe. Nice moves. Versus Titans, damage is sufficient but not particularly impressive. The smaller magazine and lower rate of fire means it will take slightly longer than the R97 to do the chassis. Nevertheless, it will seldom take more than a couple of reloads, and the car's automatic fire will do most of the work. Effective range is relatively short, as you'd expect for an SMG, and the damage drops off about as quickly as the R97. Of course, you'll perform much better at a mid-range, courtesy of the higher damage, and the slower rate of fire makes for a more stable weapon at such ranges too. Recoil is definitely present, however, with automatic fire becoming quite ineffective against distant targets. So while the car is definitely more manageable at a distance than its rival, it's still very much a close-range weapon, and it has the excellent hipfire performance needed to back that up. Rate of fire is healthy enough too, not quite on the same bullet hose tier as the R97, but 846 rounds per minute is certainly enough to make most rifle users panic. Magazine capacity is slightly lower too, at just 30 rounds instead of 40, so you will spend more time reloading despite the slower fire rate. Reloads are pretty quick, however, in a similar class to its peers. It takes under two seconds for a tactical reload, with a little over two and a half seconds needed when empty. Handling is very swift all round. You'll be able to aim down your sights in just 200 milliseconds, and switch times are faster than most alternatives. Perhaps most importantly, your mobility is entirely unhindered, meaning you'll move at 100% of the base speed. The car is the more versatile of the two SMGs on offer, meaning you can be slightly more reckless with regards to your own positioning. There's no need to shy away from mid-range combat. This makes it ideal for an all-out aggressive build, where you can push into enemy territory and make them work for their objective. The iron sights are relatively open, with a holographic dot projected within the front ring. For the ranges you'll be using this weapon at, they're more than sufficient but there is one optional alternative. The HCOG behaves as with all other weapons, providing the same level of zoom as the iron sights with a standardized side picture. It is slightly more open than the default, so it is worth equipping when you have the option available. But either way, it won't make much of a difference. The available mods will have a more pronounced effect, however, with three choices available. First, the extended mags behave as usual, granting 40 rounds between reloads instead of 30. This is useful in cases where you're tackling groups of enemies, or should you be surprised by more than one enemy pilot at once. The suppressor will keep you hidden from your enemy's radar when you fire, avoiding detection and supporting stealth tactics. Unfortunately, it does cut damage quite significantly, meaning you'll need an extra shot to kill at all ranges. Given that damage is a key trait, this might not be the best idea, and the faster fire rate of the R97 makes it a far better candidate for suppressed use instead. Finally, the counterweight helps to keep the weapon steady when firing from the hip. 
granting superior unaimed performance when on the move. This is a good complement to any aggressive tactics, as you retain full movement speed while hip firing, which can make it difficult for your opponent to track you. Overall, the counterweight is a very worthy consideration if you find yourself hip firing often. A more concentrated spray of bullets will mean you'll land more shots on target, leading to quicker kills in close quarter combat. Otherwise, if you prefer to rely on aimed fire, you can seldom go wrong with extended mags. For the rest of your build, your mobility should be your prime concern. And the run and gun kit can be useful in conjunction with the counterweight, permitting hip fire while sprinting, allowing you to start landing shots on a threat immediately. There are some tempting alternatives in the same slot, however. Enhanced parkour is worth equipping if you find yourself making heavy use of the environment to move. And the quick reload kit is another beneficial choice for those who don't like to be caught mid resupply. For your tactical ability, however, there's only really one obvious choice. Stim lets you up the tempo of combat at a time of your choosing, either evading an unwinnable fight and regenerating health at the same time, or making an impossibly quick push on an enemy position. Stay aggressive and the lack of a silencer won't be a problem. By the time your opponent sees the blip on radar, you'll be long gone. Forcing your opponent's hand is a good way to catch them on the back foot so aggressive tactics can work very well against a complacent enemy. So if you want to find yourself at an advantage more often, push your opponent hard and make them think fast. The Car SMG is a potent close quarter weapon that boasts slightly higher damage and effective range than its closest alternative, the R97. With excellent handling and high mobility, it's ideal for those seeking a versatile option that doesn't compromise your ability to manoeuvre. It remains easy to handle and is an effective choice in close quarters too, granting an edge against any pilots who've chosen a more cumbersome weapon. However, there are some compromises made to this performance when compared to its faster firing alternative, and when facing the R97 head-on, you might find the car inadequate. Its versatility is its own undoing then, and by occupying a mid-tier role, it is neither king of close quarters, nor able to compete at a distance. Still, the ability to remain reactive over a wide variety of firefights is a useful one, and as long as you don't overreach with the weapon, this SMG will prove an able part of your arsenal. So, if you're in need of a vehicle for success, the car will drive you home. Thank you very much for your presence, and do join me next time for the final instalment, The Kraber. Until then, farewell.